Alright guys, so we're back again. Um, I've got three batteries hooked up in series and currently they're reading uh, 35.95 volts and I'm going to see if I can charge that battery bank with my current setup which is the same as before the battery charger is going through the PWM PWM is going through the resident rod the resident rod is coming out and going into the bridge rectifier the bridge rectifier has a cap attached to it and it's being rectified and going into that battery bank of one two and three so I'm just gonna turn it on and see what the power consumption is and see if it charges so here we go So it seems to be bouncing around a little bit as far as the consumption is concerned, probably because of the magnetic field, uh, but it's not going above, say, uh, looks like 0 0.23, 0 0.28, so there we go, half an amp. Just call it half an amp for now and it's already charging quite well it's at 36.52.53 now so let's leave it on for a while and see what happens So I've moved the meter that's measuring the amperage that's being drawn from the um, battery charger back uh, out of the magnetic field, I guess, and it's stabilized and it's reading 0.61 right now of an amp. I don't know if you can see that on here. I'll try and zoom in. So that's what we're consuming to 
charge this battery bank. And you can see it's going up quite a bit. Again, I believe it was at 35.95 when we started. Hey guys, so it's been about an hour and the voltage on the three batteries has risen from 35.95 to 37.26 and the consumption is still at about 0.62 of an amp. So yeah, I'd say that's pretty substantial uh, for approximately a little over half an amp and charging a battery bank of 36 volts using this setup and you can see the battery charger the needle there is barely moved Say that's pretty impressive for half an amp to charge a battery bank of that size. Let me know what you think.